Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Welcome, welcome to the third quarter final of the FDA's 30th annual tournament. I am Shanika De Silva, for those who don't know, shame on you. I'm co-secretary general of the FDA, and I will be your chairperson this evening. Before we begin, I would like to extend my deepest gratitude to the Université Paris de Pontéon SS and the SS Debating Society for hosting us tonight. It's really a pleasure to be back. Yeah, it's really a pleasure to be back today after well yesterday's debate. <laughs> Special shout out to Gabriel Smart and Ren Sellers who made this event possible after being kidnapped, well, by me. So, as it is a tradition, the chairperson needs to explain the rules and regulation of an FDA debate. Five speakers from the government will confront five speakers from the opposition. These 10 debaters will be under the direct scrutiny of the amazing, the marvelous, the experienced, the wonderful, the beautiful, the charismatic, Lily. <laughs> will be granted six minutes. During his or her speech, a speaker may be interrupted either by a point of information or a point of order. Points of information must be questions. They are asked by standing up while placing one's head upon one's head or one's hands outstretched. Let me show you. It's like this, it's like this, or like this. Uh, yeah. Make it silly. Um, the speaker may or may not accept the point, but has to take at least one, and it is recommended to take two. If a point is accepted, it is included in the timing of the speech. <coughs> Points of order, on the other hand, are made directly to me, and regard the running of the debate or its procedure. They are made to ensure that both the rules and underlying principles of courtesy and decency are respected. If a point of order is asked, time will be stopped while our rule on the matter. But this is not going to happen tonight. The first and the last minute of each speech are protected and no points of information are allowed during this time. Debaters, you will be able to challenge the speaker as soon as our charming, very, very charming bell person will signal it with the sound at the end of the five minutes, you will hear the same sound. Amazing. At the six minute mark, Lily will ring twice with the ring for sex. No. Yeah, we like it kinky at this. At this point, the speaker is expected to conclude his or her speech as promptly as possible. If he or she does not do so within 15 seconds, Lily has been instructed to act before thinking and be very loud until the speaker stops speaking. I mean, she's a star. She's a star. She's a star. Do not forget, ladies and gentlemen, this is your office and your house. You can interact with the debaters and give this debate the spice it deserves. Indeed, if you agree with what a speaker is saying, show your support with a, by screaming. Yeah. 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 Wow. <laughs> uh, <coughs> However, if you disagree with a statement, let the audience and the debater know with a bellowing. Sure. Um, so, having been reminded of the rules, I ask the ladies and gentlemen to welcome our two teams tonight, Central Subelec and Isaïe Subeo. <laughs> and please, debaters, when I say your name, just stand up so the jury knows who you are. Proposing the motion tonight and coached by Zivia Madaman, Central Subelec will be led by their Prime Minister, Jaime. <laughs> Their second speaker, Jean Charles. Third speaker, Antonia. Fourth speaker, 
Max. Ooh. And the government whip this evening will be Michel. <laughs> Opposing tonight's motion, and coached by Anne O'Mahony, Super Hero will be headed by their shadow prime minister, Kyle. <laughs> their second speaker, Maxime. Speaker Amit. First speaker Mega. And to conclude the entire debate, the opposition whip Jeff. To decide who will win this debate and be the first semi-finalist of our second semi-final, meaning the third semi-finalist. Yeah, I did law, but I'm good at math. Right. Uh, we have our esteemed jury, Gabriel Smart, coach of SS, winner in 2009, 2012, 2015, and 2018. Gabriel <laughs> Alexa, debater for NSA, winner in 2022. Gabriel <laughs> debater for Ilegi, semi finalist in 2021. <laughs> Winner in 2016. <laughs> and Rick, the semi finalist in 2017 with the UPLC team, Sorbonne Science, Jussieu, you name it, how are you? <laughs> MTA debates are judged on the basis of five equal criteria that you may already know argumentation, which concerns the content of the speech and the research done for it. For or how set content is put forward, for example, timing, structure, clarity of the speech, the use of rhetorical devices, teamwork, which pertains to a team's cohesion and strategy, engagement, the judges will have to take into account the quality of the rebuttal, the POIs, but also the adaptability of the team to the other <coughs> team's counter arguments, and lastly, star quality. The jury will have to take into account the tone, the pitch, the volume, the body language, the eye contact. All in all, do they have the famous je ne sais quoi? But this year, we changed the adjudication system. Hey! <laughs> and now the jury renders its decision by attributing a final score out of 25 to each team. Each criterion receiving a grade from 1 to 5. And the team that has the highest scores When's the debate? Yeah. Enough of me. I'm done. I don't have any more voice. So let's turn the phones, off. The, tr the phones off, exactly, first, and then to the motion and to the team, which is uh, and the motion submitted tonight is this house prefers reflection before action. I call upon the first speaker for the government, Kaimi. <laughs> It's an honor to have you here. Uh, honorable judges, you look stunning. Skillful timekeeper, make sure that if we pass the uh, uh, time, we can charge extra. We are members of the opposition, nice costumes, and well, know that we're in a safe place, so feel free to share all your reflections today. <laughs> we are members of the government. What a nice family I see here. You're here. So, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this house... Oh, a moment. This house prefers uh, reflection before action. 
Today, this government will give you the luxury, the privilege of attending an innovative session of marriage therapy. <laughs> what will be the goal? Help a couple to resolve the differences and search what we, are, what we all are looking for. And it's not la retraite at 62 years, it's a happy coexistence. Here, here, here. Here. As you surely know, uh, unthought marriage, impulsive marriages are growing exponentially lately. People don't think it twice. After a brush of hands in an escalator, after a sensual glance at the bar, after, even after an FDA debate, people rush and get married. But you know what happens next? 90% of, 99% of these couples end up divorcing. So, that's why we are, we are all here today. In this show session, first I will introduce myself. I am Alfredo de la Villa Viciosa, the leader of the government tonight and also a therapist by vocation. My first words were not mommy, daddy, they were Talk me about your feelings. <laughs> here, here. <laughs> uh, so, tired of seeing unhappy people that use the same amount of reflection in their life as a cat chasing a laser pointer, I decided to open this practice and help here, here. all of them. So, here I can get ready. Yes, please. How are you able to act so quickly with the, uh, when you hear the tales of your patients without reflecting? Well, that's called yeah. a spontaneity, and a spontaneity is not doing yeah. whatsoever, yeah. 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 no matter what way. Yeah. You get it with practice, with a lot of before reflection. So, get ready for a heated session. First, I will define the terms of this motion. This house refers reflection before action, and then I will give the way to the fabulous family that we are all accompanying tonight. Here, here, here. In this house, we believe in the power of reflection. But why do we, what do we mean by this? We mean thinking and considering a matter with the necessary attention and carefulness to understand it well, form an opinion, or make a decision. Thus, it seems evident that anything undertaken in this life must be accompanied by the necessary and proportional reflection. Here, here. Here, here. Do you think anyone would vote for a party whose slogan was we do not prefer to reflect before action? Well, the answer is in the opposition. Here. Here, here. Here. That anyone except North Koreans would give the customer here. Here. the nuclear bomb to someone that does not prefer to reflect before act. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. You judge, you judge the uh, security with which you want to live your lives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please share with us your reflection. Yeah. Your uh, the bomb is it not created due to uh, the leader's reflections on his own safety? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not his reflection, the reflection of uh, the scientists that are doing it. He just, yeah, yeah, yeah. he just asked for it. Here, here. So, my fellow thinkers, eh, whether you are saying I do at the altar or I quit at the divorce court, please give it a thought before you act. But why reflect? To act, my dear audience, to act. But what do we mean by that? We mean any fact, act or operation that implies Activity, movement, or change. Yeah. 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 Normally, uh, an agent that acts voluntarily in opposition to stimulus. For example, when my wife wakes up in the middle of the night because of me snoring like a brown bear with hemorrhoids and <laughs> see things of kicking me out of the house and divorcing me, she's not acting. She's thinking. But when she takes a speaker and puts me some Rammstein heavy metal in my ears to wake me up, she is acting. Here, here. Here. Thus, in reflection and action, it's necessary to analyze the context and 
it must be done with free choice and without <coughs> coercion. So when we say reflection and we say that we prefer it, we mean that we like it more than any other option. So now let's stop defining and let's start healing. Who will here, come here. today? Who will come tonight? First, Juan Carlos, the adopted son of the treaty couple. He will show us how the motion will help us get better decisions. <coughs> then yeah. Maria Antonia, the mother of Max and Juan Carlos' grandma. She will show us how the motion will help us have better interactions. Yeah. Yeah. Then yeah. in third place, Max, the sensitive partner, partner will show us how with this motion we can live better and more mindful experiences. Yeah. Yeah. Finally, Michelle will come to show us the classes of the debate. So, because the only place where action should come before reflection, it's in the dictionary, I please <laughs> beg you, dear judges, to accept this motion. Yeah. 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 Thank you, Jaime, for your speech. I'll talk about my feelings with you anytime. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to, uh, and now I call on the shadow prime minister, Kyle. It's something you have to do alone. 
What, shame. Shame. what happens in the therapist office isn't reflection. It's communication. It's devo developing your own ideas. It's not reflection. Yeah. Yeah. Secondly, when I am deciding what to eat after this debate, will I be will I reflect on it or will I just think about it? Reflection is not the same as action, and we must keep these distinctions clear. Yeah. Yeah. Here, here. The government uh, brought up how he, the, the therapist brought up how he has to be spontaneous in the office. How does he be, spo be spontaneous if he's in deep, reflective thought all the time? Yeah. 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 According to your definition of reflection, what would be different between reflection and self-reflection if it's always by yourself and alone? Exactly. Yeah. This is not what happens in the therapist's office. Yeah. You're, yeah. You're, you're, yeah. You're, yeah. This is not what happens in the therapist's office. You're communicating with each other to develop ideas, discuss, talk, action verbs, not yeah. inaction yeah. verbs. Yeah. 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 You may be wondering how we ended up in this cell. Where I'm from, it's illegal to wear roller skates in the bathroom. <laughs> yes, yes, you heard me right. Roller skates in the bathroom. Hey. Is that what, what's supposed to happen? The government spends weeks and months reflecting and thinking of laws and they come up with this? Hey. When my cellmates shared their stories with me, oh, my heart knew immediately, uh, no thank you, I knew immediately, I couldn't believe it. The system is broken. How are they and me here? There's no reason. Here. Here. Ladies and gentlemen, the motion gives us two options. We have, the, we have a choice tonight. We have a choice of reflection, stagnation, or of action, of breaking free from a system that is so wrong that it puts innocent people behind bars. Here. Here. No action means no satisfaction. Here. 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 This escape will be unpredictable much like the world outside these walls. To survive, it is essential to do, to act, to create. Yeah. 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 When you see us, you will see us using action verbs. Talking, debating, questioning, POIing, yeah. breaking free. Yeah. 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 When you look over there, what will you see? You'll talk, see a therapist's office. You'll see talking, discussing, hey. reflecting. Here, here. In action verbs. Reflection before action exhausts us. It wears us out. It is meaningless. To live is to listen to our inner selves. We have to follow our gut, and we have to choose action. Here, here. How, how exhausted must the therapist oh, be? No, thank you. How, how exhausted must this therapist be every day going back to his family after hearing the stories of so many people having to unpack them? What if we chose a better way? What if we chose action? Here, here, here. Here. The government would have you believe that action follows reflection, but it only leads to more reflection. You're trapped. If you're trapped in a cycle of reflection, you become aware of every single small possibility, no matter how improbable. You'll fixate on it. And that is analysis paralysis. Here, here. Shh. Guys, I have a plan to how we can how we can break out. Now, my mates, the men and women of action, this is what we're gonna do. Maxime, you are an illegal immigrant. You were punished for simply going trying to survive, and yet you're here with me. How did that happen? You will slip out first, second. I mean, the street artist. You followed your creativity and your gut. And where did that end up? Here. So you will escape after Maxime. Third, Megha, the, uh, the human rights activist. You demanded a better life from this government, and you were, well, you were silenced, you were punished. And so now you're here. Shame. Ladies and gentlemen of the audience, this escape will be an adventure. And it will keep you at the edge of your seat. So watch out. I think the government may have tried to set some booby traps. Be ready for action. You will succeed or fail based off of them. I leave you, I will leave first, and I'll meet you in the helicopter with Pierre, our escape helicopter pilot. Yeah. So, yeah. Hey, to my escapees, shh, watch out, and remember, no action, no satisfaction. Please vote against the motion. <laughs> for your speech. The prison looks fun and I'd like the helicopter ride as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Trying to make myself. Um, I call upon the second speaker for the government, Jean Chao or Juan Carlos.
Most honorable chairperson, the bat of your eyelid stops all my reflection. <laughs> yeah. 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 Decisive bad person, I would get lost in the shiny reflections of your belly. <laughs> Sharp opposition, I thank you so much for coming to our therapy session tonight using your one prison break. <laughs> Beloved family of the government, what can I say? Wise jury, you know that reflection comes before action, like the calm is before the storm. Here, here. Yeah. Handsome audience, I hope that my fraction of reflection is to your satisfaction. Here, here. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. I am Juan Carlos, the son of the happy couple. You're here. I would like first to thank you, dear therapist, for laying before us the definitions of this debate. And I admit that my parents' marriage is kind of a joke, but I can see that the shadow PM is taking a jab at humor as well. You know why you're in prison? You're not in prison because of an unjust system. You're not in prison because of roller skating. You're in prison for attempted murder. Attempted murder of the motion. You tried to kill the motion. You tried to reject it unjustly. You argue that reflection is only something personal on the one side, and on the second side, you criticize the reflection of the government, a group of people. Yeah. Hence, yeah. Your, your, own ref, your own reduction deserves yourself. Yeah. But to get back to myself, I have agreed to come to counseling because my friends made a bet with me. They bet with me that my parents' marriage wouldn't last another year. I bet it would have last another six months. You know why? Because my parents married in Vegas. And their marriage was the only random thing going on in the casino that night. Yeah. Yeah. I love my parents. I really do. But more thinking went into the choosing of their, su or their suits than in the choosing of their partners. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Do share. You uh, said that uh, we criticized the ref your reflections, and yet what we did was criticize your actions. What do you respond? You, criti re you criticize our speeches, the content of our thoughts, hence our reflection. Yeah. 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 So, no, the reflection of the, my, I'm sorry, the decision of my parents' marriage was not a decision. It was so rushed we can barely call it anything. But much like the back of a white, Candy offering white van. <laughs> that decisions rarely lead you to the good places. Their dear example told me that thinking and, uh, before acting makes for better decisions. I know that thinking before acting makes for better decisions for two reasons. First reason, thinking before acting sets you on the best path a priori. Second point, thinking before acting allows you to be truly spontaneous during your actions. Yeah. Yeah. On to my first comment. Reflection, no thinking. On to my first one. Reflection is valuable because it allows for better decision. Reflection is very unlike getting drunk in Vegas, that's... <laughs> as, as our Prime Minister said, reflection is considering a matter in order to make a decision. It is the process of running through every possible situation and setting yourself on the best course. Yes, please. How can we show you've gone through every single possible situation? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, every single plausible situation, usually that gets you what you want. Yeah. 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 There are lots of obvious examples to this. Before buying a car, you check whether or not you can actually afford it. This is called financial responsibility. Yeah, 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 you don't yeah, ponder yeah, yeah. whether the hippopotamus is going to crush it. <laughs> Before marrying someone, you make sure you are compatible with them. This is called not being a chimpanzee. Yeah. Before yeah, yeah. choosing your career in engineering, you read the last half of the jet because, well, Let's move on to another example. Let's say your dads are going to break up. You might be sad at first, but you reflect and you choose to prepare for the best. And you get hyped up for all these double Christmases, double summer vacations, double pocket money. So yes, reflection, better decisions, better life. This is why I would choose reflection over before action. Sorry. Here, here. Maybe, maybe you're the government and you start thinking, what about spontaneity? Let me tell you, we are friends of spontaneity. Yeah. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, this is my second view. Like Proper preparations allows you to act spontaneously. Yes, please. How can you be a friend of spontaneity if the spontaneous moment takes three, five, ten minutes to reflect on before performing? Yeah. 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 As our Prime Minister said, reflection is proportional to this. 
So even in a one second moment of spontaneity, you can take a tenth of this to think. As I said, proper preparation allows you to act spontaneously. That's right. I'm saying that I proclaim that proper preparation primes precisely for prosperity. <laughs> Every action requires some amount of decision making, and these decisions can be taken either early on or on the spot. If you're like the God, the opposition, these decisions don't take time, you have a light fast brain. But to us mortals, these take time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And so if you do them before, if you take the time to figure out what you actually want to do beforehand, you can be spontaneous afterwards because you know what you want to do. You know yeah, what you're yeah, 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 yeah. Let's say you're in Paris for a few days. No thank you. Let's say you're in Paris for a few days and a friend of you prepare a party. You have all these wonderful opportunities. You can chat, you can drink, you can dance. So you go there. And it's pretty soon you start second guessing yourself. Should you drink this much? You have a debate tomorrow. <laughs> Should you dance? You have that sweet bow tie on. You don't want to get crumpled, do you? Yeah. And, yeah, yeah. and then it's all starting to get blurry, you know? Like, should you speak to people? What if a POI you? And then it tracks you. You look like a teapot in the middle of the dance floor. <laughs> <laughs> you feel ridiculous and you want to get home. Yeah, yeah. So, on the way home, you spend some time wondering why did I not take the time to reflect about what I actually wanted? And the reason is, when the stakes are high in your house, more decisions equal more problems. We prefer reflection before action, because it allows us to live our actions better. Shame! Dear members of this somewhat white family session, the government prefers reflection before action because, one, it sets us on the best path, and two, it allows us to be truly spontaneous. With yeah. reflection and action, we can success and satisfaction. I beg you, dear German, to please accept this motion. Here, here. Yeah. Thank you, Juan Carlos, for your speech. Your story about the teapot really hit hard on me. I felt it. I call upon the second speaker for the government, Maxime. Opposition, I said. <laughs> Sorry. No, no, it's written. No, no. I'm tired. Chairperson, your present can make even better. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. 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 Your present can even make prison pleasant. Yeah. Yeah. Dear timekeeper, using your bell, we thank you for ending the boring reflection of the government. Yeah. Members of the jury, thank you for getting in on the motion. Yeah. To the government, I bet you are still reflecting on the motion tonight. Now it's time for action! Yeah. 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 Beloved friend, in the opposition, I'm glad we are people of action this evening and every evening. Yeah. Yeah. Dear audience, you are adorable. Yeah. Enjoy our escape and have fun with us tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. I am Maxim, an illegal immigrant and a prisoner. Yeah. Like my fellow inmates, I've been convicted by this government for my crimes. Yeah. But tonight, we are going to escape by the helicopter and fly over Paris like a bird. Yeah. Yeah. Members of the jury, this government wants to take away our most basic human rights, the right to a free life. Yay! What kind of a society is this? The system is beyond broken. Here, here. Here. But before that, I have to go back to a very serious point. The Prime Minister Alfredo, the therapist, say. So scientists rely 
on their reflection to create the most awful weapon of mankind. Well, I don't know, should we continue to debate? Or is that enough to show that okay. we should never prefer reflection? No, thank you. Yeah. 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 And also, what the government said about spontaneity is only true if you follow your gut feeling, your instinct, your intuition. Yeah. 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 And of time, on the, re on the, the dull rebuttals, on the dull reflections of the government. Yes, what about the fact that in order to escape a prison with a helicopter, you need a reflection to have a plan? No! Yeah. We are improvising right now. This is our power <laughs> on the state. <laughs> <He's in charge. laughs> yeah. We prefer action because we live full lives. Yeah. Yeah. In other words, no action, no satisfaction. Yeah. Yeah. Instinct, ladies and gentlemen. One of our most powerful drive in life. You, hear you have it. This innate call for action in its purest form. You're here. You're here. The system convicted me for two reasons. Oh, that okay? No, thank you. Because I choose action to survive and to thrive. You're here. You're here. First reason the four F's fighting, fleeing, feeling. And sex. <laughs> yes, you do them every day. Well, I mean, you do them most of them. Most of them. <laughs> they are all instincts and actions. Yeah. Now, imagine you are. On that point? No, thank you. Imagine you are a turkey. A man comes in and your instinct tells you. He's going to kill you. But he feeds you. Next day, the same. The probability that you will the probability that you will never kill you. That he will kill you. Sorry. The probability that you will never kill you increases day by day. And on day 100, it is higher than ever before. But it's the day before Thanksgiving. And you are dead meat. <laughs> so, you choose to reflect instead of acting on your survival instincts and flee made you somebody. On that point? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yes, what about the fact that in my reflection I put deadlines in order to be sure of acting? Yeah. Yeah. What about the fact that in my reflection I put deadlines to be sure that I act? Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, yeah. no, no, no. If you act on instinct first, you will have saved your. Your, your skin in that yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't think. Don't reflect. Choose action. Use your instinct. I do. I fled my own country to survive. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. In life or death situations, on average, paramedics respond to emergency calls in seven minutes. Would you trust them if they had to reflect on the, on the rescue procedure while your child is dying or worse, your dog? Here, on the ground. Here, <laughs> Now. Here, here. And not only not paramedics. No, thank you. And not only paramedics save lives. Mega, we'll show how you too can protect life and change the world through action and activity. Here, here. 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 action with them. Thriving. Spontaneous action isn't something just for daredevils or skydivers. It's something for everyone. Here, here. here. Don't listen to that little voice of insecurity when you're about to kiss someone for the first time. Yeah. 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 No, thank you. In any case, it will be more enjoyable than kissing your pillow or your mirror. Yeah. 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 Be bored. Refuse boredom. Yeah. Yeah. Smell the roses. Yeah. Yeah. Use, your, use your intuition to be more creative, as Amin will demonstrate. Yeah. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, do you want a life full of reflection and regrets, or full of action and adventure. Yeah. Yeah. As Paul Coel rightfully claimed, the danger of adventure is worth a thousand days of ease and comfort. Yeah. Yeah. You have all opportunities. Let your instinct decide. Dare and do it. <laughs> a psychology study published in the New York Post says that 77% of people feel happier when they push at them to be more adventurous. Here, here. Enough of these bars. Enough 
of this world. And not of this jail, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. 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 This temple of reflection holds us stages, my friend, lets you catch your life to leave them boldly and to leave them wholeheartedly. Yeah. 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 No action, no satisfaction. No, I must go and fly. Please vote against. Thank you, Maxime, for your speech. I'm so sorry you decided to escape prison. I was having fun. <laughs> <laughs> and now I call upon the third speaker for the government. Yeah. Well, Why should he stay? We're trying to figure yeah. it out. It's a very good question. We're trying to figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me give you an example about my point. So, I, I am part of a group of abuelitas, and 
we have organized a ball to find spouses for our children. And you see, we are 35, so you can imagine that organizing a ball with 35 old ladies is a bit hard. <laughs> you know the saying, what is scarier than a bunch of old ladies? <laughs> a bunch of old angry ladies. <laughs> so the thing is, we always manage to accomplish it in the end, and we do it by sitting down, by thinking carefully about our objectives, by setting a guideline, and in the end, dividing the tasks. If not, I think, oh, we would have been fighting about like the color scheme, and it would have been chaos, and we wouldn't have had the flying dogs or the talent show. <sighs> so you see, by reflecting, no, thank you. By reflecting together, we carry out successfully our common interests and goals. Here, here. Which is hopefully something that my family will learn with the help of Mr. Pettis. So that brings me to the end of my first point. Now let's talk about the importance of self-reflection before action in social scenarios. Because who here hasn't said something hurtful to a friend or an in-law in the heat of the moment and later on regretted it? You see, we propose to reflect before we act, because we would act. Because it allows us to interact in the best way possible with others. The idea is that by organizing our thoughts and considering the other persons, we can tailor our messages to meet both our needs. When my son-in-law's stupid dog chews up my name, what do I instantly think? Michelle, take your useless dog back to help me. But that is not what I say. I Sigh, I breathe and compose and say, Dear Michelle, I am upset that your dog has ruined my hard work here. I would really appreciate it if you didn't let it come into my room anymore. <laughs> so by thinking, I find myself the best way possible to express my emotions, and Michelle would be more inclined to help me as well. And we can build a, a nicer and smoother interaction. So my point that I was upset still gets across. Finally, dear house. By preferring reflection before actions, we allow ourselves to have better interactions. On a global scale, this means being able to build things that last and that function properly. On a second, more personal note, it means being able to, with the use of reflection, to adapt our actions to meet, interact with others. And remember, dear audience, with reflection, then action, we gain success and satisfaction. You're here. We beg you, dear Jerry, to please accept this motion. Thank you, Anthony, for your speech. I've never seen such a gorgeous and sexy abuelita. <laughs> <laughs> What's your secret? I want to know. And <laughs> I'm very sorry for my cherry. Uh, <laughs> moving on to the third speaker of the opposition, Amy. <laughs> Actually, I'm not sorry for my cherry. <laughs> there I said. Chair, thank you for keeping the government under your watch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The time to the, the rings on, of your bell is the sound of freedom. Yeah. 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 To the jury, I hope you're enjoying this dare escape. Yeah. 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 To the opposition, I can't wait to see you on the other side of these walls. Yeah. 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 And to the government, you may try to chain us, but you will never take our freedom. Yeah. Yeah. Audience, welcome to the greatest prison break of all time. Yeah. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. I was street artist, but now I'm prisoner. Yet, I want to break free. I was wrongly convicted by the government for trusting my feelings. Shame. And trying to make the world more colorful. Can you believe it? I've been waiting for years for them to look into my case, but they seem they got, it seemed they got lost in their reflection. <laughs> First, the Prime Minister tried to convince us that something as collective reflection exists. But ladies and gentlemen, 
Reflection happens in the mind. Yeah. You, think you think in your own mind. Yeah. And once you start speaking, speaking an action verb, that's why, that's when there is collective, uh, according to you, reflection, which is basically action. Here, here. Going on to the second speaker. The second speaker wants us to stop in a bar and reflect about what I'm going to do tomorrow. But, uh, but if I'm in party, I will let myself go, enjoy the life, enjoy the moment. Yeah. And then the third speaker talked about bad decisions. Ladies and gentlemen, for years we've been reflecting about climate change, yet we never took an action. Yeah. But tonight, ladies and gentlemen, tonight we're taking action. Tonight we're breaking out. Tonight, we are trusting our intuition and jumping over the wall. Here, here. Here. We prefer action because we are curious and creative. And these are the exact same reasons that got me behind the bar. No kidding. First reason, curiosity. The endless flow of questions we had since we were young. How does an airplane wall work? Where do babies come from? <laughs> what would happen if, if I mix mentos with coal? Will it explode? <laughs> well, you will never know until you try it. You will yeah, never yeah, know yeah. until you do it. Because yeah. there, is, there is no satisfaction without action. Yeah. 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 On that point, go ahead, please. Wouldn't you say these actions were driven by prior reflection? No, they are driven by my intuition. Yeah. 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 You, don't look, you don't need to look further than the education at school to see how broken the system is. It wants us to sit behind bars, behind tables, looking at dry theories, reflecting, doing nothing. On that point, you're here. No, thank you. A Hungarian study on children's curiosity proved that the number of questions asked by a child goes from 100 before they start school to a zero when they get to middle school. It's a sentiment. A system, a system that takes our curiosity in the name of education is clearly broken. Here, here. Here. We want to be free. We want to try every silly experiment we come up with. Here. We want to trust our instinct as Maxime showed. Here. Because that's the only way that curiosity grows. Yeah. Yeah. But, no, thank you. but ladies and gentlemen, what's the point of curiosity if we don't have answers? Created answers. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly. The second reason I'm behind this bars. Albert Einstein once said, the intuitive mind is a sacred gift. The rational mind is a faithful servant. On that point? We created a society that honors the servant and forgot about the about the gift. Okay. Yes, Albert Einstein himself crit criticizes this system brought by the government. It is, but fear not, but fear not, ladies and gentlemen, because tonight we are bringing intuition back to its rightful place. Yeah. 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 Nothing. It's only when we trust our gut feeling, it's only when we trust our gut feeling that breakthroughs are made. We all heard about the Eureka moment. What's taking the path? Archimedes come to understand what's now known as Archimedes' principle. Yes, it's known the long hours of deep thinking and reflecting that, br that brought him to his discovery. <laughs> it's his intuitive and genuine intuition. Here, here. 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 Then what is the difference between intuitive uh, thinking and reflection according to the definition? Intuitive thinking is a feeling that drives you directly, while reflection takes years. Here. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, the same spark that led Archimedes to his discovery drives artists. In, no, in art, nothing can be created with reflection. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing can be created with reflection. It's only when we let our intuition guide us that real arts happen. Yeah. When, asked, when asked about the source of his inspiration, Pablo Picasso said, to know what you're going to draw, you need Start drawing. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas, whereas reflection dulls the mind, intuition liberates it, creating infinite possibilities of expression, of, 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 
of expression. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that's the essence of the intuitive mind. When we, take, when we base our action on our intuition, we come up with creative solutions to make the world a better place, as Mega will show you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment I've been waiting for. I can hear the helicopter. I am closer than ever before. One more step, and I'm free. But before I go, remember, no action, no satisfaction. Yeah. Yeah. Beyonce would be so <laughs> yeah. at her concert. Yeah, I was flexing on the fact that I have tickets from Beyonce. Uh, <laughs> if you didn't know it. And now I call on fourth speaker for the government, Max. I didn't expect uh, that much, uh, that much engagement. Thank you very much. I just want to let you know that anger is never the answer. So just, let's keep calm, calm down, and let's, let's go. Government, audience, the debate has started since 30 minutes. If you want to go to the toilet, they are just right there. I just wanted to let you know that there are no more toilet paper. <laughs> Having this reflection before action might prevent from an embarrassing situation. <laughs> Ladies, gentlemen, action! My name is Max, and yes, it was about my wonderful couple that you talked about for 30 minutes. But let me come back on what your position said. So first, you're saying that reflection is only in our mind as individuals. We are debating, we are having a reflection to know whether or not we are going to adopt this motion. literally reflection before action. Then, um, so, just, that's it. Also, <laughs> also if you want to, ex to ex uh, escape uh, the jail, just because you have a reflection about it, you said, I've been thinking about this moment so much, so many times before. It's because you have a reflection. Yeah. 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 Because you have a reflection that you have dreams. Then, I will tell you to go for action. Go for it. You should escape. I agree. But it's thanks to your reflection before. Yeah. 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 So, we are, for instincts, but just right after good reflections. Yeah. Okay. Can you like, please? How does reflection not dull your instincts? Sorry? How does reflection not dull your instincts? Yeah. 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 Reflection, just like you, you look before you cross, you, 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 think, you think before you speak, just reflection, you have the reflection first, and then you have the action. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. I will show you with two arguments that you should prefer reflection before action. Because one, reflection allows to be confident in our action, hence leave them better. Two, it allows for a more mindful life. My son, JC, I'm very proud of you by the way, has proved to you that thinking before you act makes for better decisions. I will prove to you that it makes for more enjoyable action. Because when you reflect before you act, you're sure about what you do. You can leave your moment 100% and enjoy it 100%. No thank you. For example, by not having the reflection before I said, yes, I would marry you. We both panicked the night before the wedding and we both shaved it. I know that night. But I have to admit that um, Michel's maid of honor was really, really attractive and that he had a better suit in the hotel. But it still didn't worth it. As my mother, Antonia, explained, this kind of bad interaction ruined my marriage. Since that day, I endured my wedding. I should have reflected before going to marriage. I didn't take into consideration the fact that he was part. 
of the French Victim Association. <laughs> <laughs> I was like you, I, I was like you. Yes, go ahead. How can 10 years of reflection about who you are going to choose to marry can give you the answer if you are going to appear on it? Who said yeah, that yeah. reflection has to be 10 years? We said it's proportionate. Yeah. 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 So, at first I was like you, I thought it was cool to be someone who loved dating and argumentation. But, be careful, it became a nightmare. As you should think about it. He always wanted to be right, to have, been, to have the last word. Yeah. He started screaming, shame, at table when he disagreed. <laughs> All the time, acting with no reflection. The few things he was saying to me were, when we were eating together, be like, give me the salt, please. <laughs> Oh, when he was coming back home, he was outstanding, Max. I would fall in love with you without any reflection. It was just terrible. I knew he didn't mean it. If only I had a good reflection before that, I could have anticipated it. At least, I would have in post condition. And even more, acting without reflection is boring. After another fight at home, because Michelle told me, I will show you that you should cook tonight. You are too. I was like, no, thank you. I decided to let everything go. It was too much. I took my car and I started driving without any reflection, any direction. I let the inside, the artist inside me take the control. And I was driving, 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 driving and driving. And it was just boring at the end of the, of the day. I just had no more gas, so I had to put no thank you, the garage who took me home for the super buffer at only. $300. <laughs> you see, not having reflection big each for your action will just make it more complicated and less agreeable. That is my second point. So thank you. Reflection allows for emotional balance and mindfulness. Because self because self reflection is a time you give to yourself, to your mind, and to your soul, before something important, it is what you should do when you feel overwhelmed and scared of getting damaged. No thank you. It doesn't mean that your life will not be full of actions, like I said to you. You should have your reflection before your action. And it just means that yourself is prepared to live adventure. And it's thanks to your reflection that you prepare to adventure. So at the end, thank you for your contribution. We made it through. Made it through. So the most beautiful trips, the most intense kisses, the, beauty, the most beautiful adventures are those that have been anticipated yeah. and reflected yeah. upon yeah. Like, like your ex, uh, escaping plan yeah. because you can leave them with mindfulness. For example, the first time uh, I get intimate with Michelle, it happened so quick that I can't even remember. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. sorry, yeah. sorry, yeah. sorry. Yeah. So see, that was, that was personal. I should have reflected in this. Yeah. Whereas we all remember the crush we had in high school precisely because we had time to imagine the scene 15 times. Here, you know? here. So, <laughs> dear house, I'm sure that reflection before action is great because it makes you happier when you leave your action. And I've secondly shown that it allows for emotional balance and a more mindful life. Because with reflection and then action, we gain success and satisfaction. I beg you, dear jury, to please accept this motion. I said it, I made mean it! <laughs> uh, and now moving on to the fourth speaker of the opposition, Mega.
Ladies and gentlemen, I am Mega, and I too am trying to escape from this prison. Before I was wrongfully imprisoned by the government, I was a human rights activist. But this government sentenced me to jail for rebelling and for protesting for a better life. But tonight, with the help of my cellmates, I am finally going to break free. But before I make my heroic escape with my gang, I must show how the therapist, Faye, took over their tracks. To the first speaker, I thank you for complimenting our costumes. We are escaping in style. <laughs> and to him, I also say that action not only comes first in the dictionary, it also comes first for people who want to live a life of passion and a life of joy. <laughs> to the second speaker, he, the adopted son says that reflection leads to better outcomes. But life is unpredictable. Yeah. If you plan and you plan no and the plan, no thank you. The future will still change. Yesterday, we were supposed to debate at CPOS, and now we are here. Here, yeah, yeah. here! The grandmother says, uh, the grandmother says that the government believes that they are the judge, jury, and executioner of what they believe the best decisions in life are. But how do you know that something is the best if you do not act on it and spend your entire life in the analysis point? paralysis? Here, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What about the fact that people who are for facts for human rights, when they do actions before reflection, uh, they are counterproductive actions because it's too extreme. Sure. Hey. Hey. The actions are not counterproductive, the system forces them. To the fourth speaker, debate is all about speaking, it's about improvisation, it's about action, yeah. it's not reflection. Yeah. He yeah. keeps saying that reflection yeah. is proportionate. Proportionate to what? When do you know the right time? When do you know what the right time to stop is? Will you spend your entire life reflecting before kissing someone? Yes. 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 The spontaneity of the first kiss is what makes it ex exciting, not the anticipation and the reflection. Yes. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, no thank you. This house prefers action because we deserve better. Yes. Yes. Here, here. When women acted against the system, 
over 286 bills were passed to make the world safer for us. Yeah. Yeah. As Malala said, there is a moment where you have to choose whether to be silent or to stand up. Yeah. And tonight, we stand up. Yeah. Yeah. Because actions speak louder than reflection. Yeah. Yeah. And this is why we are proposing a three-step plan tonight for a better life. Yeah. Step one. Get five rotten tomatoes and throw them at a politician. <laughs> Step two, put women in charge. Yeah. And most importantly, Step three, please forget about step one. <laughs> when we choose action, we embrace change. We embrace a bigger life, a better life. And this is why this house prefers action. Ladies and gentlemen, time is running out and I need to make a run for the helipad where our accomplice, Pierre, is waiting for us. But always remember, no action, no satisfaction. Please vote against the motion. Thank you, Mega, for your speech. I just have one joke. What is a tomato with a cape? Super tomate. <laughs> <laughs> and to wrap up the case of her <laughs> okay, folks, let's get it over with because therapy is bloody expensive and all for what to look at them. Not for the pervert. Great you can chair person. You know that soon after this debate, I may end up single. Honorable member of the jury, in rows from the government, in mix from the opposition. <laughs> Esteemed timekeeper, wonderful audience, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. Yeah. So it's my turn, Mr. Serpis, as the husband of Max, to try to save this marriage. Actually, the audience, I'm actively trying to free myself, just like you, from the chains of this marriage. Yeah. Yeah. You see, more than a homewrecker, I'm also the whip, the whip of this debate. And before concluding this week, I'd like to come back to what Megan said. You see, you are so well dressed first for a prisoner, so congrats for you, but here, here. We love action. The government loves action. There is no denying that. Here, yeah, here. Prefer reflection before action. That's it. It's an emotion. Here, and here. Of yeah. course, life can be unpredictable, but at least give it a try. In the chaos of life, just yeah. take the time to be the anchor, to think thoroughly and take the right decision. That's what Jean-Charles said. Here, here. And here. Analysis paralysis doesn't happen to us because we prefer reflection when it's possible, when we have the time and. Pre preference is not coming. Yeah. Yeah. Action. And to be fair, Max and I also love action. So, <laughs> as I told you, you after. Yes, please. So you only reflect when it's convenient? Yeah. 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 yeah! No, when we are able to. That's what we prefer. Yeah. 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 And to be fair, reflection is often convenient because it allows for better decisions, better life, better experiences. As we should. So as I told you, after careful consideration, I've made up my mind I'm going to ask for divorce. However, attending this counseling session was really revealing from my family and prisoners because it really revealed your thoughts on reflection action. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's session contained two passions, spontaneity and the nature of human life. So the first flash point was what constitutes spontaneity, opposing action and reflection, as you did. No, I mean, I get you. It was, uh, uh, it was also a clash point, Max and I in the bedroom. However, opposition went as far as to say that action was incompatible, incompatible with reflection. The yeah. government loves action. Yeah. You see, yeah. Yeah. Can accuse us of getting stuck in reflection. But as I said, it's a prefer. We prefer when we are allowed to, but sometimes we need to act, and you're right, we need to act for climate. Here, here. Here, here. GIEC and careful consideration. Nothing. Here, here. Because that's what Jean Carlos said. Uh, Jean -Claude, Jean -Claude said. <laughs> <laughs> better decision making and more effective planning, which in turn enable spontaneous action. Because being stuck in a cell, you forget that you don't live in a bubble and you need to be with others. You can't take actions on your own. 
thanks to uh, that's what the Buddha said. And perhaps that is why that uh, if you acted with more reflection, you would not have ended up in prison. So it's the same. Prison was a great sentence for you because you need to learn to value reflection. Yes. Then why is solitary confinement the greatest punishment in a prison? Here. Solely for you to reflect by yourself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, there is a lot of reflection session in prison. I do agree that solitary confinement is a human rights abuse. Yeah, yeah. 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 And, well, I mean, said that reflection takes years. That's because it's so smart. There's so many things to consider. Very. But we, government, we are not as smart and we can take decisions in fewer times because that's things to consider. So, and here, here. which brings me to my second flash point, which is reflection prevents you from living the fullest, living a more human life. And we leave that you acknowledge the, the need for reflection. Otherwise, this debate would have been heavily one sided. However, as, a, as we said, the government loves reflection. And yeah. to be fair, that's what makes us human. Because uh, the, what differs humans from animals is that we can just not act on our instincts. We have evolved past that. Here, and here, here. here. Yeah. Reflection doesn't impede you from trusting your emotions. Uh, on the contrary, it helps you understand them, listen to them, and not just act on a whim. Yeah. 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 The government is supporting freedom. The opposition threatened our reflection many times in this debate. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. How, how can we allow that? Socrates said that a life unreflected isn't worth living, and I totally agree with that. Max showed you how intellectualizing your actions makes you enjoy them more, and I fully agree with that. And finally, the Aguila said that reflection before action is important for successful interaction, both on a global and uh, or Google said, and accomplishing common goals. So we need we need this reflection to live in a society to agree on a certain type of criteria, otherwise you are unsociable, you cannot live in a society, and where do you end up? In a prison. Here, here. How can an interaction not be an action? Uh, a what? How can an interaction not be an action? But it can be interaction, yes, it is an action, but it also reflection on your part. Reflection, then you interact. I mean, I yeah. hope you here, 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 here. 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 And so, it is a bittersweet ending for this debate. But in the end, it really shows the spirit of the emotion. Because you have the family you have. How dysfunctional it may be. But however, what you can control is the reflection that will guide your action. Here, 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 here. The psychologist created a comfortable safe space in which he accurately defined emotion. Then it was a turn for the troubled teenager, Juan Carlos, to open up and share his personal experiences. And how it allowed better decisions. Then my mother-in-law, showed how it would also allow better group interaction. And finally, finally, it was my soon-to-be ex-husband's turn to share his feelings on how reflection before action improved his experiences. As for me, reflection before asking for a divorce was hard, I agree, but life is all about making hard decisions. To live yeah, yeah. at ease rather than postponing it by choosing the easy path towards a life full of trouble. That's what human being is. That is why this house prefers reflection before action, because it allows better decisions, better interactions, and better experiences. I beg you, dear Jewish, to accept this motion. You're here. Thank you, Michelle, for wrapping up the kids for the government. Call me. <laughs> it's a joke. <laughs> It's cheering. <laughs> and to wrap up this entire debate and <laughs> so that I can get back my dignity, I <laughs> call upon Jeff. Dear Chairperson, Your Majesty has reached new heights. Yeah. <laughs> Dear Bellperson, I hear the sound of your bell through the noise of my helicopter. Yeah. Yeah. Magnificent jury, your wisdom is sky high. Yeah. 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 To the government, you will not imprison us again. Yeah. Yeah. And to my pres uh, friends in the opposition, let's get out of here. Yeah. Yeah. Finally, to the audience, Thank you for being here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Good evening. I'm Pierre. This jailbreak's getaway pilot, ready to ride off into the sunset with my friends. Here, here, here. And while we wait for our innocent inmates to join the helicopter, let's take a quick look at the major clashes and of uh, this bust and have some fun with the, go the government's faulty policies. <laughs> uh, then my pals and I will get on the aircraft and we'll be off. There have been three clashes tonight. First, on the difference between thinking and acting, which I suppose joins the spontaneity of the government's whip. The government falsely believes that they are the same. I mean, look at what Max said. You can reflect before crossing the road? Is that really the kind of thing you give reflection to? Card hey, shows yeah. that, yeah. Yeah. Thought, that reflection is deep thought. Yeah. Thought you give time and concentration to. When you see the green man, you don't stop for a minute, do you? You <laughs> see him and you go. <laughs> so you do not need a deep moment for this. Second is on whether reflection is an investment or a waste of opportunity. The government is trying to make you believe that thought, uh, reflection, uh, before action, you may lose time, but you gain something in return. Better yeah, decisions, <laughs> as uh, Juan Carlos said. Better interactions, as uh, uh, Maria said. Or more confidence, as Max said. Yeah. On that point, uh, yes, please. how will you tell a baby to look uh, before he crossed the roads, if you tell him you should not prefer reflection before action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The baby sees green and goes. <laughs> <laughs> but by reflecting before acting, you lose so much more than mere time. As Amin said, to, uh, reflection dulls the mind, intuition frees the, uh, the yeah. spirits to be more creative. And as Mecca showed, only action will On fix this broken system. No, thank you. Reflection is not an investment, it is a waste of opportunity. Yeah. 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 On the existence of collective reflection. This has been a back and forth quite a lot uh, for, during this whole debate, and this dysfunctional family and their therapist want us to believe that collective reflection is possible. But yeah, yeah. as they defined it, it's thinking. Can you collectively think? Oh, yeah. 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 Without discussion, no thank you, without discussion, there is no interactivity, there is no collectivity. Yeah. Yeah. We advocate yeah. for transparency, spontaneity, and honesty. So reflection is individual. Yeah. 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 And now on to the government's comical policies. <laughs> um, hey. To go back onto the government's whip, uh, we evolved past instinct, and I would agree, we make better actions, we create art, art that comes from intuition. Yeah. 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 Um, you also seem to be, uh, you tell us that we're stuck in our bubble of a prison, but you are stuck in the rooms of a therapist. So I'm afraid. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, on to the general uh, line. Is marriage the only expression of love? If you jump into a marriage, is it not because of a broken system that says that marriage is the only way to love? Yeah. Yeah. Go on with this system. Let's love. Let's be more spontaneous. Kiss the point? person. Yeah. 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 Uh, you are prisoner. prisoners. Should the government be worried that you have invited them for beers when you have clearly no boundaries for sexual aggression <laughs> since you only trust your prisoners? Shame. 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 Shame! Hey, all of our prisoners here were unjustly imprisoned. One for wearing bonus cakes in a bathroom. Yeah. 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 Oh, and on that note, there they come! <laughs> the SAPs running towards the chopper. Kyle, the ringleader, in prison for wearing roller skates in a bathroom, I uh, repeat, uh, acted on his desire to live unrestrained, both in a prison and in our minds. Oh, that yeah. No, thank you. His immediate action made this bust possible, and he is leading everyone towards freedom. Yeah. 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 Give me two seconds. <laughs> Maxime ran from danger. On that point, unlike the Turk. Yes, please. Why are you saying that reflection and action are incompatible? You're proving that action can be incompatible with actions. <laughs> they went to prison because of actions. Yes. Shame. Shame. 
they went to prison because of unjust laws. I'm afraid you are mixing a few things up. Here, here! <laughs> Maxime ran from danger. Unlike the turkey, he used his instincts to survive in this unforgiving world. He also used his spontaneous action uh, to follow his heart, seize opportunities, yeah. and thrive. Yeah. Following his footsteps to live a full life. Here, here. Yeah. Me showed us that how the system kills our curiosity. Shame. From 100 questions to zero. He drew us into a life where the sparks of creativity and curiosity are ready to blaze into the uh, fires of art and science. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Of action. Heed his advice to be creative and curious. And make up, channel the creativity, and rode on the emotions of anger for the current system Shame. and your love for Shame. the world to create yeah. a better one. Yeah, yeah. 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 He, uh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> follow a three-step action plan to make this world into the best one it can be because we deserve better! Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. To put action before reflection is to choose life, creativity and shame. Ladies and gentlemen, remember, no action, no satisfaction. I will ask the jury to retire. I think that Gabrielle, you know where to go. We know where to go. Okay, uh, Brad knows where to go. And while the jury deliberates,